the balance that they're seeking. They find that balance in you, but the byproduct of them having balance with you creates imbalance in your life. Hello, beautiful human. Welcome to your Leo Cross Watchers only reading. I am Princess India, if you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend and whatnot or whatever. If you're not familiar with what this reading is, it is a reading that I do for the benefit of someone who is attempting to cross-watch a Leo person and what's not or whatever. But I've heard the grapevine, the grapevine be in the comments that there's people who may be Leos that watch this and resonate. You may feel that it's flip-flopped. It may resonate with your mama, daddy, brother, sister, cousin, not necessarily a love relationship. So just get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get into you guys' cards and see what is going on for October 15th through November 15th, my friends. Let's see here. All right, first card out. Oh, okay. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Hermit in the reverse, which is Virgo energy. Hmm. So what it is looking like for me, my wonderful cross watcher friend at present um, with you guys, Leo person, it's feeling a certain level of disappointment, even though I would say that somewhere between the beginning of the month like October 1st, so last week of September, or that first week of October, it more or less kind of felt like you guys were getting off to a fresh start or thinking that things were turning over a new leaf. But it's coming to a place um, now, more or less feeling as if things in this partnership are unbalanced and you are feeling unfulfilled, emotionally unfulfilled at least. Um, so when we talk about uh, a level of hope that one has, a feeling like it's a fresh start in a sense, um, it could be that you guys got back together or maybe you reconnected with someone and you kind of had high hopes for it um, and it ended up not quite panning out the way that you expected. But going into this hermit in the reverse, it's more or less um, saying to me that you guys are desiring to kind of find out what will make you feel fulfilled. It's almost coming to the realization that, um, let me see, like a person who kind of feels that this relationship was the thing that was missing and then getting it and finding out that that's still not the thing that's missing because something is still missing. And it's more or less you guys kind of dive in deep to get clear on what that is. So you guys may have distanced yourself from this person. Now getting into your Leo person, whoa, we have the Empress in the reverse. That is, of course, Venus and Libra, as well as Taurus energy. We have the Temperance, that's Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So what it's kind of looking like, it, it seems that the, the connection between the two of you had promise. Um, in the recent past, it, it really seemed like things were off to a good start, but if I were to really pinpoint to what the issue really is, to be quite honest, it's more or less in reference to your Leo person. I feel um, it's almost like what, what you guys are looking to get from this person is like emotional nurturing. Um, not necessarily saying that you want to be reparented or anything like that, but I feel that, um, you know, just that reciprocity emotionally and I feel for you guys, it's kind of coming back into this realization that it's kind of pouring into a bucket with holes in it, you know? Um, one second. Hello again, Leo Crosswatcher. Sorry about that. That was my landscaper at the door and I went straight introvert, you know, when people just show up and ring your doorbell. It's kind of like I wasn't expecting anyone. Am I supposed to hide? You know what I'm saying? Anywho, so back to what I was saying. I was saying with this Empress in the reverse, it gives me vibes of um, 
a person, it's more or less with them, it's someone who does not feel so great about themselves. I'll put it that way with your Leo person. It's like, they're not very emotionally available to themselves. Therefore, they can be reciprocated to you. But I can't deny that there's an element of this that I feel where it's like, um, like a second chance. You know what I mean? And the vibe that I feel is like, um, and I talked about this in um, another sign. I can't remember who it is at present. But I was talking about, oh yeah, I think that was um, Gemini's Extended. I was saying something along the lines of like personal work, right? So I said, it's kind of like if a couple were to break up and say like, oh, you know, I'm working on myself, but it's like, what exactly is working on yourself? Like, what does that look like? Like, did you go to therapy or, you know, were you just meditating? Like, did you track your progress? Is there like a certain facet of the self that one was working on, you know? So it kind of feels to me like two people who took a break or stopped talking and got back together and felt them getting back together would, you know, kind of make them happy again but it's more or less that my cross watcher is coming to a place with this leo where it's realizing like they're not very much different than the way that they used to be and they're still very much emotionally unavailable and i mean a tad bit self-centered you know what i mean it's um more or less that with this particular person it's not like they're not adding to you so like i was saying like pouring into a bucket with holes in it. It's like, that's the kind of vibe that I get, but it's more or less my cross watchers coming to the realization about this. Now, looking at them having the six of swords going forward, it's more or less giving us the why that this is this way. And it's more or less that there's been a lack of um, changes that they've made in mindsets. It's like, a person can't be different if they still think the same. So you can lose weight, you can gain weight, you can change the way that you dress, you can make more money. But if you still think the same way that you thought before, you're still in essence the same person. And even though it's this unfulfilled kind of feeling, I feel that my cross watcher is kind of at a place where you're trying to figure out, like everything that I just said, I feel you guys are kind of going within to try to figure out like, what it is that you're actually feeling in so many words, like why it's just not working. Oh my, at the bottom of your deck, you guys have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. So it's more or less that there's not very much work, energy or effort that is being put into this um, anymore. I really feel that you guys gave it a good run though. Like I feel like you really tried and it's more or less approaching it thinking if you did things a little different, like maybe if I did a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that or a little less of this, tried to listen more, what have you that maybe stuff would turn around, but I feel that what you guys are coming into the realization of is the real problem. So I think like maybe throughout the course of you and this person knowing each other, it's thought it's the thought that a myriad of different things were the problem or pinpointing different issues, you know, um, trying to, you know, be more listening, be more, you know, um, engaged. But I feel that the real source or issue of the problem is more or less that um, your Leo needs to face their demons. <laughs> it's like they have to come to a place of balance with themselves before they try to cultivate that in a, um, in a partnership in so many words. So the next card that we have, whoa, is the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. That is so fascinating. So what it's looking like for me, if I were to just round this about, and <laughs> I don't want to speak too soon, but I almost want to uh, thank the Leo cross watcher <laughs> for this because this reading for me seems very straightforward and to the point, you know, um, not saying that it's easy, but it seems very straightforward and to the point, but what it's really looking like for me, um, especially with this nine of swords in the reverse here, the biggest issue with your Leo person is their headspace, right? And their headspace meaning 
it's their self-concept, their self-perception. Um, there could be issues with emotional regulation. They can suffer with anxiety, a little bit of paranoia, insomnia, nightmares, things of the sort, you know. But I feel for my cross watcher, the biggest takeaway from this is um, something that I've seen a lot this month with a lot of signs. It's just that when you connect with someone and you're in a relationship with someone, even like spending a lot of time with someone, um, you start to take on facets or energies from this person. You know what I mean? So it's almost with this nine of swords in the reverse, like this unrest or this, this anxiousness, like the different things this person is grappling with, it starts to affect you because it's this thought of, I want to help this person. I want to be there. I love them. I care about them. Like I want to show them that I'm supportive. I want to show them that I'm there. But going back to this law of reciprocity, it's like, if you're the only person that is pouring into them and you're pouring all of you into them and, you know, because they're depleted in some sense or another, figuratively speaking, then whoever pours back into you, right? You can fill yourself back up, but if you're pouring your cup out into this person, it's a vicious cycle, right? And I, I really feel like it's something clicks from my cross watcher um, this month with dealing with this person of, of seeing um, that the work more or less that's being put into this person or this connection really needs to be put into oneself. And I would even say the same for this person. It's like, I feel for your Leo person, their focus right now really needs to be on themselves, you know, because it's almost um, them using you as some sense of an emotional crutch and it's them needing to learn how to be independent you know and i feel like this person it's it's almost like a pseudo sense of of balance if that makes sense it's like they have this temporary illusionary sense of balance within themselves because it's like a person on crutches put it that way if you think about like breaking your leg so one of your legs is like a bum leg it don't work right so you use crutches so that you can walk to stay balanced because your leg isn't working it's like that's what the vibration looks like to me for this leo person it's like all of these things that they're struggling with underneath it all or them feeling stuck in life them feeling not good enough them not feeling abundant them not feeling fruitful right and them desperately desiring balance is this perception that they feel that they find that balance in relationships. But when the relationship isn't there, they're imbalanced again. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the truth of the matter is, is one cross watcher needs to be more cognizant of like warning signs of codependency and realizing that, um, you know, you can't want someone's success or happiness or peace more than the person wants it for themselves. Like you can't carry a person through personal development. You know what I mean? And if a person wants to change their mind, like change their thoughts, if they want to be a better person, they want to progress, they want to grow, they want to regulate their emotions, you know, control their impulses, uh, lessen their anxiety. That's all an individual personal work. Like, that's not something that any of us can do for another human being. And I feel that your person has to come to that realization, you know, because until they do, as much as you continue to allow yourself to be a crutch, it's, it's almost like it throws your life off kilter. So it's like the balance that they're seeking, they find that balance in you, but the byproduct of them having balance with you creates imbalance in your life. I hope that that makes sense. It's like them feeling abundant because they have you to lean on, right? Makes you feel depleted in so many words. So it's like a catch 22 in a sense. So there is the potential for both of you. I see that regard. It's the vibration of this eight of pinnacles. And we're talking about like work, energy and effort, right? It's like that vibration is here. I just feel that it's misplaced. So it's, you know, this person is not putting in any work, you're putting in a great deal of work, but you're putting it more into this person than into them into yourself. And this person needs to put that work into themselves. But ultimately, 
I feel the security and the, the oh, I can't talk right now, Mercury retrograde in my mouth, <laughs> but I feel the stability and the security that both of you are seeking because I feel what led both of you together is each of you saw something in the other. Um, but I feel what it is you were trying to get from them or what they were trying to get for you, like what either of you were seeking in so many words, the truth is to find it within yourself. So with this 10 of pentacles here ending you guys spread is more or less saying to me that both of you standing firm in your independence and your strength as individual people, both of you can get what it is that you want in your lives. And I mean, if you choose to be with a person after that, then cool. If not, it's like, you know, you're, you're still stable and secure and it, there's no level of, um, of fear or codependency in relationships because you know that you were fine before. So you have that reassurance that you'll be fine afterwards. In so many words, my friend. So Leo Cross Watcher, <laughs> you guys have been looking for this reading for the longest. That has been your reading. I'm going over to Vimeo, my website, Patreon. And YouTube members will do you guys extended where we're going to look at how your person thinks and feels about you. So if you're about that life, follow me over there. If not, I still love your face and I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Hopefully later in the extended because, you know, I'm going to miss your face. Members, I'll see you guys in like 2.5 seconds. Love your face.